Hurricanes are ferocious forces of nature, there's no denying that. But some hurricanes stand out when it comes to strength and intensity. In this video, we will talk about the strongest hurricanes in the North Atlantic Basin. When it comes to this, the strongest sustained winds are the ones that usually determine the strength of the tropical cyclone. The scale used is the Saffir Simpson scale, which uses 1 minute sustained winds to measure the strength of a tropical cyclone. It is used in the North Atlantic Basin. Meanwhile, minimum pressure is the one that determines the intensity of a tropical cyclone. Let's start ranking the hurricanes by its pressure. Hurricane Dorian is a very recent hurricane since it just happened two years ago since the uploading of its video. It started as a weak tropical storm in the Caribbean, then it started to rapidly intensify while approaching the Bahamas. With a minimum pressure of 910 millibars, it was the strongest hurricane of the 2019 Atlantic hurricane season. It is also very destructive, causing more than $5.1 billion worth of damages. This is a very old hurricane, happening almost 100 years ago. It was the earliest officially classified Category 5 Atlantic hurricane on the Saffir Simpson scale, reaching a minimum pressure of 910 millibars. It's a very intense hurricane considering the fact that the 1920s isn't exactly the decade with the advanced meteorological technology. Another recent hurricane, Hurricane Maria, it devastated the Caribbean region. It had a pressure of 908 millibars, which makes it very ferocious. It peaked in the eastern Caribbean region before striking Puerto Rico as a very intense hurricane. It is the most intense hurricane of the 2017 Atlantic hurricane season, causing more than 3,000 fatalities and $91.61 billion worth of damages. Both hurricanes are tied for the 8th and 9th place when it comes to the most intense Atlantic hurricane. With a minimum pressure of 905 millibars, Hurricane Dian mostly affected the Caribbean, Mexico, and Central America, while Hurricane Mitch devastated Central America. Mitch killed more than a whopping 10,000 people, making this the second deadliest Atlantic hurricane ever recorded. One of the most notable Atlantic hurricanes, Hurricane Katrina, is often considered as the worst hurricane to strike the United States. Katrina mainly affected the Gulf Coast, particularly Louisiana. With a minimum pressure of 902 millibars, Katrina is also the seventh most intense Atlantic hurricane. It is tied with Hurricane Harvey of 2017 for being the costliest Atlantic hurricane costing $125 billion worth of damages. It is also a very deadly hurricane, killing 1,836 people. Hurricane Camille was the second most intense tropical cyclone on record to strike the United States, and is overall the sixth most intense tropical cyclone in the basin. With a minimum pressure of 900 millibars, quite an old hurricane but destructive enough to cause $1.42 billion worth of damages, which is of course not adjusted to inflation. Now we're going to enter the hurricanes that surpassed below the 900 millibar mark, starting with Hurricane Allen. With a minimum pressure of 899 millibars, 
Allen has managed to become the fifth most intense hurricane in the basin. However, that's not just it. Allen has managed to reach another record that I will mention later in this video. But anyway, it cost $2.57 billion worth of damages and 269 fatalities, mainly affecting the Caribbean and Texas. It was also one of the few hurricanes to reach Category 5 status on three occasions and spent more time as a Category 5 than all but two other Atlantic hurricanes. With a minimum pressure of 895 millibars, Hurricane Rita was the most intense tropical cyclone on record in the Gulf of Mexico and the fourth most intense Atlantic hurricane ever recorded. Like Hurricane Katrina, it was also a very destructive hurricane costing $18.5 billion worth of damages and it mainly affected Texas. The Great Labor Day Hurricane of 1935 was the most intense Atlantic hurricane to make landfall, and it was the third most intense Atlantic hurricane on record, with a minimum pressure of 892 millibars. This is a hurricane that happened before the satellite age. Nevertheless, it was the most intense Atlantic hurricane at that time before being surpassed by the following two in this list. With a minimum pressure of 888 millibars, Hurricane Gilbert was the second most intense tropical cyclone on record in the Atlantic Basin. It mainly affected Mexico, particularly the Yucatan Peninsula, where Gilbert made landfall. It was particularly the strongest Atlantic hurricane to strike Mexico on record. It cost $2.98 billion worth of damages and it cost 318 fatalities. It is currently the most intense and powerful hurricane in the Atlantic Basin, and the second most intense tropical cyclone recorded in the Western Hemisphere, just after Hurricane Patricia of 2015 in the Eastern Pacific. It had a minimum pressure of 882 millibars, which was recorded in the Caribbean Sea. It is also a very destructive hurricane, affecting, you guessed it, the Yucatan Peninsula and also Florida. It cost $27.4 billion worth of damages. The pressure was determined by a Hurricane Hunter's drop zone in the Eye of Wilma, originally recorded at 884 millibars, but the wind value suggested that the central pressure was slightly lower, estimated at 882 millibars. Nevertheless, it remained the most intense Atlantic hurricane up to today. All the strongest Atlantic hurricanes have attained Category 5 classification. Hurricane Opal, the most intense Category 4 hurricane recorded, intensified to reach a minimum pressure of 916 millibars, but not enough to enter the list of the most intense hurricanes. Many of the strongest recorded tropical cyclones weakened prior to their eventual landfall or demise. However, four of the storms remained intense enough at landfall to be considered some of the strongest landfalling hurricanes. Four of the ten hurricanes on the list constitute four of the top ten most intense Atlantic landfalls in recorded history. Drop zones have only been GPS based for the use in eyewall since 1997, and the quantity of aircraft reconnaissance and surface observation stations has changed over time, such that values from storms in different periods may not be 100% consistent. This time, we'll look into the wind speed. Here's the list of the 18 strongest hurricanes in terms of wind speed. The strongest hurricane is Hurricane Allen, which reach 1 minute winds of 190 miles per hour or 305 kilometers per hour. And this is followed by four hurricanes that reach 1 minute winds of 185 miles per hour or 295 kilometers per hour. 
Labor Day, Gilbert, Dorian, and Wilma. Then, it is followed again by three hurricanes that reached 1 minute winds of 180 miles per hour or 285 kilometers per hour, which are Mitch, Irma, and Rita. And then we finally go to the hurricanes that reached 1 minute winds of 175 miles per hour or 280 kilometers per hour, which is the rest of the hurricanes on this list. Overall, here are the most powerful hurricanes in the Atlantic Basin. It doesn't necessarily translate into the most destructive hurricanes, but that is something for another video. If you have any suggestions or corrections in this video, put them in the comment section. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more tropical weather.